Welcome back to Crimes and Punishment, Sherlock Holmes, on Video Games Awesome Live. We're headed to Bridlington. He's reading his own book? <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Because the game is Crimes and Punishment, not Crime and Punishment. Not yes. the classic by Dostoy Dostoyevsky. I've not read that. Have any of you I think you it's a lot it? thicker than what he was holding. Yeah. <laughs> magic. Ooh. Probably magic. What's going on here? Holmes, how is it even possible how for a train to disappear? How is it even possible for a train to disappear? <laughs> Whoa. What are you even here for? Why, why, why am I talking like... <laughs> Now I'm talking like Igor. <laughs> Hello, Felice. What are you even here for, Watson? Mm, detective. Detective. Where are my crayons? Railway post bags. <laughs> Just walking through their office. Yeah, that's not very secure, man. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No he respect it. for the customer. He done did it. Oh, so. This one's Irish, Watson. Whoop. Cheap ticket. It's always scoping out the singles. Dirty fingers, rough skin. Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? Concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and he was extremely rude about it. That sounds fake. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared. But I don't care, because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid, and no doubt about it. And then, to top it all, the ticket inspector pushed everyone else out too, except for a bunch of rich. Well, because their type don't need a ticket. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Oh! Goodbye, sir. Were there any Chineses? It's a scandal! An absolute outrage! Oh, hello! Finn John Goodman. Mr. Robinson. Oh, uh oh. Good day to you, sir. Good day. To whom am I speaking? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is. Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. <laughs> we are not from the railway company. We are. Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flows, please <laughs> excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for idle chit chat at the moment. Watson, I'm quite fond of that moniker. From now on, call me Shamrock Flomes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Big mm -hmm. Australian? This is going to be a belter. <laughs> Fatty. A little bit. Expensive clothes. Married? Not married. Heavy gold ring, though. Alligator boots. Fancy shoes. Crocodile, Crocodile skin. skin. You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, 
Well, all right. I have nothing to hide. I like how Sherlock's just taking it upon himself. No police are oh, even yeah, investigating totally. this. <laughs> I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Yes. It was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention. But I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train last night. He did it. You think this guy did it? Yep. But it was his prototype. But he did it, though. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. What do you know about the Barcazas Company? Oh, they just stole his company? prototype. It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. Mexicans. Wait, South America. Um, he's Chileans. screwing around with electricity, man. Uh-huh. Don't screw around with electricity. Why? Because it makes trains disappear. Oh. Like, precedence? Yep. There's been precedence uh, of that? Okay. I'm a detective. Thank you. <laughs> you are not a detective. I'm my here. You are not a detective, Watson. Detective sleuthing. You're a detective's assistant. There's a large gap in what you believe you are and what you actually are. Prototype value. Mm. This it. revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? For God's sake, sir, it is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this He's disaster. He's a swindler. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you traveling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received the telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Yeah, let's go Unfortunately, he wasn't <laughs> there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed. So I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Ugh, Absolutely unacceptable. Grease. The timetable is strict. Cheese crease we cannot wait any longer. The regulations like require the train to be on time. <laughs> you are an idiot. You will pay Ew. for it. I will sue you. Cheese the ticket crease. inspector forced Whoa. all the passengers from the train, except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean Company. Whoa, what's this? Oh, this. No traces of train. Train vanished with people. Special wagon. Chilean stayed on the train. Chilean stayed on the train. All passengers were removed from the train except for the director of the Barcazas company. They were the only passengers on the train. So here we have to decide what is truth, You right? gotta make connections to come to new conclusions. Sometimes the conclusions are incorrect, but you'll still create them. Okay. Special wagon, vanished. The vanished train was carrying a special wagon ordered by Mr. Robinson. It could contain something very important. Well, we know what it contained. Yeah. Chileans stayed on the train. No traces of the train simply vanished. There are no traces at the place where it was last seen. And it vanished with people. So if you click one thing. Other things will eventually if you click two things, okay. it creates a new one. You gotta connect two things and then come to, oops, here. You connect two things and then you come to a conclusion about them. Like, so you go like, I guess, wait, what? I already connected two things. 
And then I put these two together. Uh, did you Whoops. deselect? Press circle to deselect. Oh. I created this one by combining um, Some of the facts may be interpreted differently. You can always change the picture of the crime by choosing between mutually exclusive deductions. Yeah, I don't know how exactly. How do I um, undo what we just did? You go to clues. I guess I think that's permanent. Oh. Because I got I I matched two things that did match, but no traces of train and special wagon don't connect. You select one of those two deductions. You made the right connection. Now you yeah. have to decide what it means. These ones don't fit together. And yeah, so I, I connected two things. And yeah, I have to decide what it means that I connected the two things. Was it an accident? Oh, Chilean okay. staying, the Chilean stay on the train was just a coincidence. The train conductor overlooked them. Well, we know that's not true. Because the Chileans were... Oh, the fact that they were allowed to stay on was mm -hmm. a coincidence. Or the directors of the Chilean Barcazas company were intentionally left on the train. The controller removed all passengers from the train except for the Chileans. I'd say that's more likely. Well, we don't know yet. We got to go talk to him. Let's talk to this conductor and find out what he's up to. Based on what Mr. Robinson said, though, because he said that... I will oh, not the other move guy. from here until I receive my refund said that all the rich people were allowed to stay on. Yeah, but... Oh, he says that they were allowed to stay on. Yeah. So, is this conductor, this young guy in here, the one that this fucker is talking about that was rude and forced everybody off? He um, seemed to have described a scenario that w didn't include this conductor. Yeah, there might be different staff members they're talking about. Cause he oh, he's a station master. He's not a conductor. Yeah, he looks like he works here. Yeah. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Shut up! Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am investigating the unfortunate disappearance of last night's train. I see. Uh, I'm Station Master Bertram, but my supervisor has not informed me about this. I do not know if... Uh, do not worry. I have only a few questions. Do you hate Mondays? Mm, Mondays. Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They stayed here the whole night. But people do not usually pay much attention to the regulations, you see. There are very strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a complaint, you must... Yes, yes, thank you. I understand. You must what? Yeah, dude. Why don't you just, like, fucking answer their problems and refund their tickets since you fucked it up? Well, not you, but... Young age... Clean clothes. Instructions. He's new on the job. <gasps> Ink smudges. Apart from the passengers disembarking, did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? I did. And I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say? How long have you been working here? I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. What did I just do? Whoa, what? Master's reports are confidential. Train composition. Train was delayed. Rookie station master. Should call him on being a rookie. He is young of age. Let me speak frankly, Mr. He's got Marshall. instructions in your his pocket. Your age and your lack of confidence in your position are quite apparent. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed your studies. I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. 
I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. And you are obstructing the investigation of an important case. I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Am I allowed Think to pose as a policeman? <laughs> uh, that is, Sir? well, I'll tell you everything. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. It was not his right to do so. He was very rude. And then, later he wasn't on, the real inspector. I received a most peculiar telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station, the next stop along the line. What? What message? What did the telegram say? Well, that was the peculiar thing. It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors Code? and awfully vague. Uh -oh. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. For God's sakes, man, give me that telegram! to visit Chesterfield Station, we need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. Holmes jumps on the couch. Come along, Watson. We're going to Chesterfield Station. <laughs> Next stop, the cookie covered station. Ooh, <laughs> I like the way you think. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, okay, so. Okay, it is hard to. Okay. Oh, we can't. He hasn't actually shown it to us? No, I can go there now. But I want to finish here. Don't touch anything, please. Shut up. Okay. The whole train How does just the train disappear? disappear? It's unbelievable. Mm. Mm. Oh, a telegraph. Yeah. Oh. When do I get to read the telegraph that was sent? That's Why what do I was I asking. Do we have to go to Chesterfield it's Station? It's a scandal. To... An absolute outrage. I will not move from here until I receive my refund. Dude, seriously, just refund them. That's... Yeah, I don't understand. Are you kidding me? Oh. Nice. Good job. The insurance policy for Robinson's machine. A significant I had a feeling sum. insurance was going to play into this. Insurance organized by Thomas L. Robinson for his prototype called the Autonomous Electricity Generator. This policy partially covers the loss of the prototype up to 50% of its value. Maximum coverage amount, 50,000 pounds. 15. In, oh. Insurance duration, one year renewable. What's the date? Yeah, it doesn't say. Valuable, a valuable insurance policy for a prototype known as the Autonomous Electricity Generator. Chesterfield Station Master's report, but the vanished train was full of errors and barely readable. It is hard to understand if you confirm that the train passed through the station or not. There wasn't anything else that we picked up there? No. Don't touch anything, please. But it keeps showing the square up there. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to this guy. I think there was there was something else there. Oh, okay. That's right. According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message. Which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Punch him in the face. Upon my word, you keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage Me too. room? I've had other things to think Me about. Me too. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. Station master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. This Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. 
Find out what was carried. So now we know what was carried. That's completed. Okay. My next task is examine Robinson's luggage. I will not move from here until I receive my refund. <laughs> Private. Yeah, I don't think there was anything else here, Beck. I think we picked it up. There were two things that we picked up, wasn't there? No. Just a thing. Okay, we have to go to the luggage room. I'd keep my grip sack with me. Always. Yeah, I'd, people would look through it for sure. This grip sack uh. belongs to Mr. Robinson. Oh! I think we should open We terms. just saw him take it away. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. <laughs> of course. We are sneaky people, aren't we, Watson? We are the sneakiest. You and I are very sneaky, right, mm, Watson? Mm, mm. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> Boy, I hope that anybody who wants to break into my grip sack doesn't like brain teasers. <laughs> Ooh. That's off. Huh? Just slightly off the one on the left. Well, yeah, I don't know. You can't make it very precise. Oh, okay. How did they build this? It's kind of lame that you can just skip the puzzle. What's the point? Yeah. Contracts. Look, Watson, a bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. This is an exclusive sales contract regarding the prototype invention dedicated to the appliance supplying electricity in an autonomous way. Emmetson Electric Company, the buyer, understands that they are purchasing this device as is and are in agreement. Mr. Thomas L. Robinson, the seller, is not responsible for any problems that may arise from the prototype after purchase, whether or not those issues were known by either party at the time of the purchase. The buyer is obligated to make free payment in the amount of 10% of the prototype price in advance upon signing the contract. The remainder should be transferred within a one month term. Exclusive sales contract. Emerson Electric. This is an exclusive con sales contract regarding the prototype invention dedicated for Hong Kong General. He made multiple contracts oh, with multiple companies no. to sell this thing. Oh dear. This one's for the Chilean company. This is not exclusive, I see. Mm, mm. You can't say exclusive when it's not, mm. that's not legal. No. So he mm -hmm. did it to Medicine Med, Medicine General Electric Company, probably Americans. He did it to... Emerson? Emerson, probably British. He did it to Hong, Hong Kong. Kong and They're Chilean. Probably Australian. Probably. And Barcazas, the Chilean. I don't Chileans. know how you do it. You're so smart. Uh? Yeah, that's fine. What? Oh, I'm not. I have to oh, do turn something. The page. Underline things. Oh. No, I'm turning the pages. An oh. exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another. Ex Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Seriously. Yet yep. another exclusive. <laughs> well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. Do you know what this means, Watson? 
Hoki. <gasps> All right. Prototype has many customers. The Chesterfield telegram, probably unrelated right now. No traces of train. Prototype has insurance, and the prototype has many customers. I think those connect. No traces of train. Vanished train was carrying a special wagon ordered by Mr. Robinson. We already know that, though. Well, is it possible that because it was a special wagon and it wasn't accessible... So what do you think connects? Prototype has many customers and Prototype has insurance. I don't know why that connects. Because he's getting money from the multiple people who bought it, and he's getting money from the insurance for it. You think it missing. just connects because it's related to his greed? I think so. Nope. Oh! It just, they don't, that doesn't make. Hmm. Um, prototype as insurance connects to the fact that it's a special wagon and that it went missing. That's why I thought too. Good job, Becky. I mean, Watson. Thank you. Robinson's motive. The loss of the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Robinson thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. And then we still have to decide on this. The Chileans stay on the train was a coincidence. The conductor overlooked them or I don't think that's no, a No, I really don't think so. Chileans were left on purpose. This is a conspiracy. Yeah, man. But none of this connects to anything yet. Cookies. Yes. Does this lot. town have cookies? Mm, those like little wafer ones that are pink. Icing in the middle. Oh. Or wafer than icing than or wafer. Oh. Sometimes they're orange too. Those always taste terrible. Ours were often. They scale. taste like medicine. Yeah. Somehow we I don't know how, but they like have a medicine taste to them. Yeah. Maybe it's because like I think it possibly is because I had medicine at the same time as eating one one time, mm -hmm. and so it just sort of. They just remind me of my mom. So she's a nurse, medicine. Yeah. Cookies. Pink and orange. Do you guys know those cookies? <laughs> I kind of want one now. They taste kind of waxy. I remember always like peeling them apart. Ugh, terrible memories. But now I kind of want to eat one. Right? <laughs> yeah. Just investigating. One person knows those cookies. <laughs> Just cause are you R1? L1 I want my imagination to show me the conductor yelling at everybody. Mm. What do you think, Watson? This Robinson fellow seems suspicious to me. Let's go talk to him then. How did the train disappear? That's what he meant to say. <gasps> she did it! The Queen Mother. Rule Britannia. I will not Rule move from here Britannia. until I receive my refund. Oh, he's not talking. It's a scandal. An absolute outrage. I think it's time to go to the next station. I think I've exhausted Don't touch my anything, please. options here. Can you mark on my map how to go to... <laughs> Please put the next destination on my detective's map. <laughs> Does this guy have anything to say? Oh. He's Amish. Just Do they have fingers. Amish in Britain? I don't know.
No. No. Hmm. All right. It's time to go to Chesterfield. So we'll take another break. When we come back, we're headed to our next destination. Why? We're on the Chesterfield. Oh, okay. We'll be right back. 